Have you ever wondered what Lewis Hamilton is up to in his spare time away from the racetrack? Then you are in the right place. In this video, we will unveil things that Lewis oh so tries to hide from the public. If you aren't a Lewis Hamilton fan, then he may come across to you as a little cocky with a bad boy racer image. Well, have you ever heard appearances can be deceiving? And I don't think anything else could be a better example than this. In fact, would you believe me if I'd say he is a very, very religious person at his core? I knew it! You'd straight out burst into heaps of laughter, but hey, there are so many things you don't know about him. Not gonna beat around the bush anymore, but all that we know about Lewis is that he is hands down a legendary player. So, are you excited to take a sneaky peek into some of Lewis Hamilton's private life? Then tighten your belts for the mind-wrecking facts coming for you. Number one, pizza fights. So, now that we've established that he is a religious person, we understand why he wears a cross around his neck during his races. But what if I say he is just like you and me who'd knock down anyone in their path to get a slice of pizza? Sounds ridiculous, but as a typical Lewis, he took his rivalry with fellow F1 star Nico Rosberg to a new level when he competed in a pizza eating contest where he tried to determine who was the better man with the dough. Speaking about pizza, aka food, everybody has a favorite restaurant that they love to go to and Lewis Hamilton is no exception with his favorite place being Shanghai Blues. This might come as a shocker for you since the restaurant serves Chinese oriental food with the interior so dimly lit. Summing up, it just doesn't feel so like Lewis Hamilton, right? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. What more do you think he does behind the while? To get to know that, you'll have to stay tuned till the end of the video since the last one literally screams OMG. Number two, he broke things off with Nicole Scherzinger. Don't go paranoid, you heard it right. The A-list couple isn't together anymore, but it did last for so many years that we have rooted for something beyond their very on-again, off-again relationship. I'm sure you know what I mean by beyond, if only a crazy fan could dream. But I must say, during that phase, fans couldn't stop their silly posts and video edits of the couple. Speaking about videos, it brings me to the next fact on the list. 3. Lewis recorded countless songs. Can this day get any better? Clearly, Lewis is hiding so much under his sleeves. Look at this racer. He is a budding singer and songwriter. He freaking wrote over 80 songs in different genres. Guess where he'd be on Sunday night? I'm sure your guess is as good as mine. After the races on Sunday nights, Lewis just books the whole music studio. A whole studio? Cut somebody some slack already. He is super rich and that means he can also own hundreds of such studios. Now that we have established he is into music, this brings me to the next unknown fact. Number four, his passion for piano. Apparently, playing the piano is Lewis's secret stress buster. He spends a lot of time learning how to play. It's understandable seeing how difficult F1 is. One could only imagine the stress that goes into his racing career. Don't you think so? We already know he bleeds driving talent. That reminds me, he is also a beast at remote controlled car racing. Would you like to hear this little Lewis story as a kid? I take it you're interested. Number five, beast as a child. So, this one time, Anthony, Lewis's father, bought him a remote-controlled car. And what kind of a beast is he? Within that year, he had just finished second in a national race against adults with an electric car. As if this doesn't make it worse, he also won the best newcomer for the petrol class, which is quite a feat, considering he was the youngest competitor by at least 15 years. No doubt he would chase these moments of pride again and again. Number six, he is a movie star. At this point, I can't get myself to name a thing that Lewis couldn't do. What do you say? Some people might not know that Lewis Hamilton has actually had a career in Hollywood as well. Have you watched Cars 2? Lewis actually voiced a character in this Disney Pixar movie and voiced as the British representative in the World Grand Prix. A legitimate racing driver in a Pixar movie? I can already imagine Pixar giving a nod and a wink to all the fans of F1. What do you think? Speaking of Lewis, he couldn't be more than happy to get involved and work along alongside the likes of Michael Caine and Owen Wilson. Number seven, his brother is also a racer. Who's on your mind the second I say Hamilton? I'm certain it is Lewis Hamilton. But did you know he also had a half-brother who also happens to be a racer? Nicholas Hamilton. Does that ring a bell? Please don't say it completely slipped out of your mind. For those who don't know, he is an avid racer. If you are wondering which F1 team he brings to, then let me break it down for you guys. Nicholas, unlike his half-brother, does virtual racing. That 
that is mainly because he suffers from cerebral palsy. A quick update to those who follow Nicholas. Nowadays, he is competing in the British Touring Car Championship, where he doesn't let his condition phase him, and instead, he uses a specifically modified car in order to allow him to compete. Which, by the way, is awesome. Don't you think so? Number 8. Breaking Barriers It is no secret that Formula 1 took a knee before the race and paused to recognize the We Race is One message. At that time, there had been criticism that more action is needed rather than symbolism. And being the first black Formula 1 driver in history, Lewis takes it on his shoulders to improve the representation of black people in motorsport. He is breaking down barriers and achieving goals to help his community grow with him and inspiring future racers of all races wanting to get to where F1 has different races represented. Number 9. Lewis and Ashley Young in the same school Lewis Hamilton was in the same school year as Ashley Young. He went to the John Henry Newman School in the town. He did get good company when he got back to school after practice. Surprisingly, one of his classmates just happened to be Inter Milan footballer Ashley Young, formerly of Manchester United and England, so he clearly was in a fine sporting company. At the age of 13, he told McLaren's boss to sign him. Maybe it was that early confidence that has got him the first spot on the all-time best players in F1. And like I promised, here comes the last crazy fact. Number 10. He was a child star Hearing this at the end, you may not find it surprising considering his insane talents ranging from music to racing. But don't you forget, he was a child star in the racing world. I mean, he was just a freaking 5-year-old when he got into the remote control car thing and wreaked havoc creating a name for himself in its history. Lewis acted in Blue Peter and defeated the British national champion on television. That's the end of it, sadly, because from there he was off to the races, literally going on to win countless championships from a young age. We could go on and on talking about Lewis Hamilton's talents, but this is a wrap for this video, guys. And am I missing out on any of his hidden talents? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching.